We close tonight in Rio de Janeiro, where the Christ the Redeemer statue is the number one sightseeing attraction for tourists. Are you prepared for a terrifying story that will keep you on the edge of your seat? Prepare for an incredible story of a lightning strike that changed everything. It all started with a statue of Jesus standing tall, but what occurred next surprised everyone. Prepare to be shocked and amazed as we investigate the mysterious and horrific occurrences that occurred after that deadly lightning strike. You won't want to miss this heart-pounding story that will have you doubting all you thought you knew. Christ the Redeemer Statue The statue of Christ the Redeemer, which has been standing for close to 90 years, is considered one of the most recognizable symbols of both Brazil and the Christian world. The fact that the statue has been able to withstand vandalism and lightning storms has led the Brazilian people to regard it as an outstanding example of engineering achievement and a source of national pride. It is believed that the statue depicts Christ in a loving embrace, and as a result, it is regarded as an international symbol of peace and harmony that presides over the city of Rio de Janeiro. One of the most recognizable landmarks in the entire globe is without a doubt the statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. The interpretation of the statue's stance in relation to its subject matter is currently up for discussion. The majority of individuals, as reported by the Washington Post, appear to interpret the statue's outstretched arms as representing a cross. Having said that, there are many who contend that the monument depicts Christ extending his arms in an attempt to receive a hug. This demonstrated once again that Christ welcomes and loves people of all backgrounds. As a result of this, the statue is regarded by millions of people all over the world as a representation of tranquility and concord. The figure of Christ the Redeemer is understood by Christians all around the world to be a representation of love and peace. Nonetheless, it is speculated that the statue is chock full of hidden secrets that will never be discovered by anyone. The BBC reports that volunteers would write personal messages on soapstone tiles that were used to line the statue's outside shell. Six million individual tiles made of soapstone were utilized in the construction of the statue's facade. The height of the monument is approximately 92 feet, and it is supported by a pedestal that is 26 feet tall, giving it an even greater height. Lightning on the iconic statue The recent strike of lightning on the 100-foot-tall statue of Jesus Christ in Rio de Janeiro resulted in a breathtaking image that was captured on camera, which is an almost unthinkable feat. It was taken in Brazil during a lightning storm when it occurred. It appears from the photographs that have gone viral that the lightning bolt struck the head of the statue, which gave the impression that the sculpture had been transformed into a divine being. Photographer Fernando Braga was the one who took the breathtaking video that has captivated viewers all over the internet like nothing else. Still, images of the event were also taken and included in the now viral film that has received more than 20 million views. In his post, he mentioned that in order to get the picture they wanted, they had to brave the inclement weather and remain outside for more than three hours. He said that in response to requests, he decided to produce a brief time-lapse of the lightning that struck Christ the Redeemer, using slightly over 500 processed photographs, including changing the lens. According to the data gathered, the building has been struck by lightning not once, but twice in the past 20 years, in 2008 and 2014. According to softschools.com, lightning took occurred in 2008, when a powerful electrical storm caused the head, eyebrows, and fingers of the statue to be damaged. After this, the statue was recast using soapstone sourced from the same quarry as the original material, which was mined for its construction. While in 2014, the well-known statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro was damaged when it was struck by lightning, and as a result, a portion of the right thumb was blown off. The event, which was captured in the precisely timed footage that can be found above, took place during a three-hour electrical storm, which was one of the most severe storms on record for the country and there were 1,109 lightning strikes within the city limits. The National Institute for Space Research reports that the statue, which is located atop Rio's 2,300-foot-tall Mount Corcovado, suffers an annual average of three to five strikes, the vast majority of which are completely harmless. They say that lightning doesn't strike the same spot twice, but with Christ it does, remarked Father Omar Raposo of the Archdiocese of Rio, which is the entity that is responsible for maintaining the statue during an interview on the radio. Raposo mentioned that the church maintains a stockpile of the original soapstone that was used to make the statue for exactly such an event, and that the church will begin the process of repairing the statue as soon as this week. The engineer who manages the statue, which is 125 feet tall, told O Globo 
that although some lightning rods are already in place, parts of the head and hands are vulnerable. He added that a proposal to extend the lightning rods has already been approved. As a result of these repairs being added to the maintenance tasks that were already scheduled, it is likely that tourists may observe workers repelling from the structure during the next four months, as he explained. According to the records, it appears that the monument was not damaged at all during this latest incident, which is quite fortunate. It is considered to be one of the most significant cultural icons in the entire globe, and it is the one monument that is most closely associated with Rio. If you go to this lovely city but don't make it out to see the monument, it won't be considered a complete vacation. On top of Corcovado Hill, this famous monument of Jesus is the largest stonework depiction of him that has ever been constructed. It is the most recognizable landmark in Brazil and stands more than 600 meters above Rio de Janeiro. The statue, which was completed in 1931, has since evolved into a significant part of Brazil's national identity. It has a height of 98 feet, a weight of 635 metric tons, and its arms can reach a length of 92 feet. History So who was the legend behind the Christ the Redeemer monument in Rio de Janeiro? Since its construction in 1922, the monument of Christ the Redeemer has captivated academics and historians from all over the world. It is the world's largest sculpture in the Art Deco style and the fourth largest statue of Jesus Christ in the world. To top it all off, the monument was selected as one of the new Seven Wonders of the World in 2007, along with Machu Picchu, the Great Wall of China, and the Roman Colosseum. Not only is the monument the most well-known site in Rio, but it has also emerged as a significant part of Brazil's cultural heritage. The monument, however, has become a global icon for Christianity which brings millions of Christians and non-Christians to the peak of Mount Corcovado each year. This is perhaps the most essential aspect of the statue. The concept of constructing a monumental statue of Jesus Christ in Rio de Janeiro was first conceived in the 1850s by a local priest, who had the notion of erecting a Christian monument atop Mount Corcovado. At the time, the priest believed that the mountain would be an ideal location for the monument. It would appear that he had requested Princess Isabel, who was the daughter of Emperor Pedro II and the Princess Regent of Brazil at the time, to fund the project. However, the idea was scrapped after a declaration of the Republic was declared in Brazil in 1889. This was a pivotal move because it separated the church from the state in the country. It wasn't until after World War I that the Roman Catholic Archdiocese in Rio and a group of locals started becoming concerned about the lack of religious faith in the Brazilian community. It was hoped that by placing a massive statue of Jesus on top of a mountain in Rio, it would rebel against what they saw as an increasing godlessness in the country. In other words, they wanted the statue to be a statement against the increasing godlessness in Brazil. It was desired that the monument be positioned atop Mount Corcovado so that it would be visible from any time and everywhere in Rio. This would signify a method of reclaiming Rio, which at the time was Brazil's capital city to Christianity. Throughout the course of nine years of the statue's construction, it was worked on by a number of different designers. Thus, its appearance is the product of a collaborative effort. The Catholic community in Brazil provided the full funding for the statue's construction, which ended up costing a total of $250,000, which is comparable to $3.4 million in today's dollars when it was finally finished. At first, the Brazilian engineer Heitor da Silva Costa sketched the statue as Jesus holding a cross in one hand and a globe in the other. He also came up with the idea for the statue to face the rising sun from the top of the mountain. The statue was eventually redesigned to depict Jesus holding a globe in one hand and a cross in the other. Eventually, Da Silva altered his thoughts and opted to create the statue as a gigantic Art Deco style statue as it is seen now, with Jesus Christ holding out his arms wide as if to welcome the residents of Rio with open arms. This statue may be seen out in the public today. Paul Landowski, a French-Polish sculptor, spent several years designing the statue into clay pieces, which were later shipped to Brazil and remade with concrete. The face, on the other hand, was designed by the Roman artist Gheorghe Leonida, while the statue's Art Deco design was thanks to the work of Paul Landowski. Formation The question is, how did the statue arrive at that location? When people see the statue for the first time, one of the many things that puzzle them is how the heck the statue got up there in the first place. This is just one of the numerous mysteries that surround the statue. Because of its enormous scale, the statue was constructed atop Mount Corcovado. All of the components of the statue, as well as the workmen who assembled it, 
were brought to the summit of the mountain on a miniature cogwheel train, which at the time was mainly used to take tourists to the top of the mountain to see the vistas. During the construction phase, workers used long wooden poles to act as scaffolding, and they actually had to scale them in order to put all of the materials in the right place. This task must have been truly daunting in every sense of the word, yet it symbolized the intense religious faith of the locals more than anything else. Although the statue no longer resembles the idea that inspired its original design, it has not undergone significant transformation since it was built. In the future, on the other hand, it's feasible that the physical appearance of Christ the Redeemer will go through some transformations. The light appearance of the statue is due to a coating of soapstone that covers it. Now that the quarry that supplied the soapstone has gone dry, it may be possible to replace the coating with material that gives the statue the same light hue. So whether it's a bolt of lightning or a chance encounter, never underestimate the power of the unknown. Keep seeking out secrets and push the limits of your own knowledge. Who knows what amazing discoveries you'll make along the way. If you like this story and want to hear more intriguing stories like it, please be sure to subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thank you for watching today.